Hello! Today we are going to be doing quite interesting experiment of changing direction of current flow on my Victron Energy Lynx shunt. This is something that was not described in their user manual, so I'm doing it at my own recognition, so I'm risking that if something goes wrong, I can burn this equipment, so definitely if you are decide to follow it, you are doing it at your own risk. I'm making changes on my power wall and I'm preparing myself to attaching here a distribution panel. In my previous configuration, I've got those two elements swapped around. So here was my battery bank. Here was the distribution panel where I had connected my load plus charger but it didn't seem economical for me to extend all those wires for the battery bank, so I just swapped them around, and now I've got a shorter path. But when we take a look at my Serbo GX, we've got an issue. We can see that our charging current is measured in negative, and the Lynx shunt believe that we are discharging our battery bank, not charging, and those percents are going to be going down, not up. So what we have to do? We have to open our device and make physical modification that will correct that issue. Of course, prior to doing any modification, we are going to be shutting down everything. First, we are isolating our Victron Energy Multi Plus by going into the off. We have to isolate the solar panel. Then we have to isolate my battery bank. Those are DC rated B directional circuit breaker, so we can use them as isolator for the battery bank. As you can see, the light is off and we are totally isolated. We can now safely remove our cover and we can take a look what kind of modification we can perform to correct our issue and change the direction of the current. This is how our device is presenting after removing cover. Here you've got something that is being called current shunt, and it is a very precise resistor with a very low value, and we are measuring voltage drop across it, and by applying Ohm's law, we can calculate it what kind of current we are passing. So it is a very simple, and if we are going to be, for example, charging it, we are going to be getting positive value, and when we are going to be discharging it, we are going to be reading negative value. So the only thing that we have to do from technical point of view is swap those two wires each other, and we should get a correct reading. And also here we've got uh, two additional connectors. I assume one of them is being tapping power for our device because we have to use the positive and negative. And the other one is going to be used for detecting whether our fuse is being born. So in our operation, we should also swap them around. Prior to making any changes here, let's go together to my lab and let's see what kind of changes we are going to be applying on my model. Using those couple elements, we are going to be trying uh, recreating our Victron Energy Lynx setup. Here I've got 12 volt silicon acid battery that is going to be representing my battery bank. Here we've got a light source just above that is going to be representing load. Here we've got multimeter that we set up in the M meter mode DC that is going to be representing our Victron Energy links. Our positive terminal go directly to the battery exactly the same way as it happening with the Victron Energy links. Then we are going to be adding in line our multimeter, just like the black shunt that you were able to see. So we go like this. We are attaching it in line. The common go into the battery. And as you can see, we are reading 0 0.8 amp. So from technical point of view, if that would be our Victron Energy links, it will be thinking that we are recharging our battery with 0 0.0 amp, amp going toward the battery. But it is clearly wrong because we are using our power 
and if I attach here charger, then it would be thinking that we are actually discharging it. So how to fix our issue? It is extremely simple. On our shunt resistor, we are reversing the connections. And as you can see now, we've got the negative value. And if that would be the links, it would be thinking and seeing correctly that we are using power. So this is that simple. Just a tiny reverse to correct it. So we are ready to perform our operation. First, I will undo that screw. We just go like this. We are totally electrically isolated. Nothing wrong will happen. We go like this. Of course, I'm pretty sure that I will drop it. So we go like this. Just like that. And now I will replace those two to make sure that our power tap is after fuels. And as you can see, we nicely perform our operation. Maybe I should route this wire through the bottom, but we are going to be closing it down and we are going to be giving it a try. We are ready to re-energize the whole system. We are ready to re-energize the solar panels. As you can see, we've got the power indicator, so we haven't blow anything. And let's together take a look at our servo GX. Device list, multi plus, state we've got the mode, charger only, set, and let's together take a look what kind of reading we are going to be getting. Let's give it a moment. I can see that the AC, the grid side goes, and we've got the positive reading. And as you can see, we are reading the correct current flow with the positive value. And everything is working perfect, exactly what I wanted. So as you can see, this small modification make our system work in reverse. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time. And bye-bye.